Hello everyone, this is a video about how to create JPEG images of the frames in an AVI video. Uh, currently the only uh, code I know to use is, is deals with AVI, so hopefully your videos are in that format. Uh, I didn't write the code that's going to do the work, it's freely available at MathWorks uh, MATLAB Central File Exchange, and there's a link to it. Uh, I'll show it here in a second, it will be available in the link below. But the script, we're going to start off with our usual clear all, close all uh, CLC to clear the command window statement. We're going to define a video file, so a C colon backsplash, the kind of uh, file, the file location and the video name. In this case, it's called train.avi. I should get that in view. Train.avi is, is the video I'm going to deal with. Then uh, you're going to define an output path. So this is the path where the images are going to go. So uh, you know I'm going to have a video images file where all the where all the images are going to go. We're going to set the pic format. I'm going to use JPEG here, and then we're going to use this video to pic uh, function. Okay, so this function is available at the MATLAB Central website. If you go to this link, file exchange. Um, video this all of this and then video to pick dot m you can just google video to pick dot m and it'll be the first link uh, that comes up on the search and inside of the function there is more description of how it works but this is just a video on how to use it and then so let's say my train video is something like this where I I just have uh, a, a train going by when I was stuck behind a train, I just took a little video. And so then I can run this script. If I run it, then I will get a file that looks like this, where I have all of the different images uh, from, the, from the video itself, and I can scroll through them and watch them go by. Uh, so this is a very, it's a very simple, simple, this, is, this code is very simple. Uh, to run using this function. This function is not quite so simple. It was a good bit of coding by the person that did it. So I'm very happy that they made it available online. This is just a, a complete code that you can kind of take this bit of code, copy it into your MATLAB uh, editor, and then uh, run it directly. All you want to do is copy the code off of the website and then save it as this file name in the same directory that whatever you call this bit of code is. Okay, I hope you find this useful and have a good day.